The first windshield wipers were invented in the early 1900s by a woman who got the idea from watching a trolley driver wipe the sleet off the windshield with his hands. After 1920, wipers became standard equipment on all cars. Today, even the space shuttle has them. These windshield wipers all have a rubber wiping blade. To make it, workers load natural rubber into a mixer that breaks it down into fine grains. Then they add powdered carbon to the rubber and leave it to mix. After several hours, a worker cuts the rubber away from the mixer and feeds it into a heat treating machine. Next, the natural rubber strips enter an extrusion machine, which will combine them with strips of synthetic rubber. The rubber extrudes through this steel die to form a continuous profiled band. The rubber band cools in a salt bath before it's cut into lengths, then split in half to form two wiping blades with a clean, sharp edge. The blades go through a spray of graphite to reduce friction, then drop onto a grate to dry out. The rubber is so smooth it's hard to grasp, so workers must insert each blade by hand into an assembling machine. In the center of the wiper blade is an opening into which a machine will insert a metal tension strip. It serves to press the blade against the windshield and hold its shape. The machine applies pneumatic pressure to literally blow the strips through the length of the blades. This steel coil feeds into a stamping machine that repeatedly cuts and bends it to form brackets. These brackets connect the windshield wiper blades to the wiper arm and give them the shape they need to wipe on curved windshields. The brackets come out of the machine in rows, still attached to the edges of the coil. Next, the rows of brackets dip into a vat of paint to receive a base coat, followed by two more coats of black paint that will protect them from corrosion for several years. Assemble all these pieces together and you'll have this complete windshield wiper. Thanks to this machine, it's a fully automated process. First, it sets a plastic joint on the smallest brackets then clips them two at a time onto a larger middle bracket. Next, the machine sets an adapter onto the top center bracket so the wiper can attach to a variety of car wiper arms. Finally, all the trays on which lie the assembled wiper parts come together as the machine proceeds with a final assembly. Four brackets held by joints branch out from the main center bracket. They hold the wiper blade in eight different places. This design allows a full range of movement to the wiper while applying an even pressure all along the blade. The key to a clean wipe with no streaking. The completed wipers come off the assembler two at a time. Workers visually inspect the wipers and then test the performance of the blade against a rotating sheet of wet glass. They monitor the amount of friction the blade applies to the glass and gauge its durability. Finally, they test the wipers on an opaque black windshield that reveals just how well they work. With a lifespan of more than a million wipes, they're surely the most reliable device on any car.